Rabbits, Rabbits, More Rabbits by Gail Gibbons. Now, do you think this book is fiction or non-fiction? Hmm. Looks kind of like it could be either. Yeah. Rabbits, Rabbits, and More Rabbits by Gail Gibbons. There are wild rabbits and tame rabbits. Tame rabbits can be gentle, loving pets. Right here, this is called a Flemish giant, and this is called a Siamese dwarf. The first rabbits lived about 65 million years ago. Their fossils have been found in China and Mongolia. Mongolia, sorry. In North America, the oldest fossils are about 37 million years old. The ancient rabbits looked a lot like today's rabbits. It says a fossil is the hardened remains or traces of plant and animal life preserved in a rock. Rabbits are members of the leporid family, and along with their close relatives, hares, all hares are wild. Leporids have two rows of sharp front teeth. They use it for gnawing. They are mammals. All mammals are warm-blooded animals, and their babies are born alive instead of being hatched from eggs. This is a hare, and this is a rabbit. The teeth right there are called incisors. And this is called a diagram. Remember we talked about that just before we left, we were started to talk about nonfiction. So what do you think? Is this fiction or nonfiction? Pictures kind of look like it's fiction, but I think the words may show us something different. Two of the most common kinds of wild rabbits are the cottontail rabbits, the European common rabbits. Wild rabbits live in every continent except Antarctica. All tame rabbits are descendants of European common rabbits. So there's Cottontail, Peter Cottontail. There's the European common rabbit. Oh, look at this, all the labels. This is a nice diagram of a rabbit. Most rabbits have the same basic characteristics. So they have a hind leg, they have four legs, they have a stomach, they have a rump, <laughs> they have a tail, they have a back. They, this is called a blue Dutch rabbit. It has five toes, four leg. This is the four leg. It has a mouth, it has whiskers, it has a nose. There's its eyes, there's its big ears, there's its shoulder. So they all have the same basic characteristics. There are big rabbits, small rabbits. Their heads can be pointed and narrow or broad and flat. Wild rabbits have short brownish fur. Domestic rabbits have short or long fur that can be white, black, gray, reddish brown, or a mixture of these colors. Their fur keeps them warm. So there's a gray dwarf, there's a brown angora, there's a cottontail, there's their fur, the English spot right there, this rabbit, a tan dwarf, and a harlequin. Most of the time, most of the time, the short fluffy tail of a rabbit has a splash of white on it when a rabbit senses danger, it will flash the white tail as a warning to other rabbits. I saw that just today when I pulled in my driveway. There was a, um, I went to school to get this book and there was a rabbit in my yard and I ran away and all I could see is this white tail. Hop, hop, hop. Rabbits get around by using their powerful legs. They can also run as fast as 18 miles or 29 kilometers an hour. Many can leap 10 feet or three meters or more. Pads or soft and spongy fur under their feet protect the rabbit's toes. These pads also give the rabbit's a good grip as it leaps or runs. Often the rabbit senses danger and it will thump its hind leg on the ground as a warning to other rabbits. And it's showing it right there. Thump, 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 thump. A rabbit depends most of all on its excellent hearing. Hmm, maybe that's why its ears are big. It moves its ears together, or one at a time, to catch the sounds coming from any direction. Rabbits can see better in the dark than people. A rabbit's eyes are on the side of its head. Because of this, it can see both sides as well as the front and back. A rabbit has a good sense of smell, too. Its nose wiggles constantly as it sniffs, trying to identify scents. Hmm. Rabbits that live in the wild have all kinds of enemies. They are hunted by foxes, hawks, 
and many other animals. Their biggest enemy is people who hunt them for food and for their fur. When an enemy appears, a rabbit may stay very still, not to be noticed, or it may run away. Rabbits are vegetarians. That means they don't eat meat. In the spring and the summer months, the rabbits will eat leafy plants. Biting and chewing helps wear down their front teeth, which grow continuously. But during the winter months, they live on bark and twigs and old fruit of bushes and trees. Do you remember what animals that eat only plants are? Hmm. Cottontail rabbits nest and sleep in the shallow hole called a form. During the winter, they find protection under brush, wood, or in shelter of a ledge. The European common rabbits live in warrens dug by their female rabbits. So there's a forum, and right here it shows you. There's a burrow, there's a tunnel. A warren is a series of underground burrows or tunnels. Let's see if we had our cool, wall, cool word wall, we could add it to it. Rabbits are nocturnal. Hmm. They eat and play most of the night and from dusk to dawn. During the day, they rest and sleep. That's funny. I saw mine today, right in Burton early. A well for, care for a pet rabbit can live up to 8 to 12 years. In a while, the rabbit may live to be about 5 years old. A male rabbit is called a buck. A female rabbit is called a doe. Hmm. Sounds like any other animal you know. So there's the doe. That's the female. And there's the buck. The doe cottontail rabbit carries her young inside her body for about 30 days. Several times a year, she will give birth to four to eight babies in a group called a litter. Baby rabbits are called kits or kittens. Well, that's confusing. Should be a fawn, right, if it's a buck and a doe? There's the kits and there's the kittens. They are born with their eyes closed and without any fur. Kind of ugly. To keep, the warm, to keep them warm, the mother covers them with grass and bits of her fur to form a nest she has dug in the ground. In about a week or old, the kits have opened their eyes and they have grown a coat of soft fur. When they are about two weeks old, the kits leave their nest. They dig their own home forms. Their mother only nurses them for the first few weeks of their lives. They begin to find their own food. When they are about six months old, they begin to raise their own young. A domestic kit is old enough to leave its mother when it's about eight weeks old. It's fun to adopt a baby rabbit or a grown rabbit for your own pet, but you must allow time to take care of it. And then this one has how to take uh, care of your rabbit. And it has, um, remember how we talked about flow charts? This shows you different things that you need to do for your rabbit. You need to handle them softly. Your rabbit needs its place of its own. It has to have a special water bottle. You need to feed it twice a day, carrot, greens and vegetables and fruit. Um, remember your rabbit always needs love. Take it to the veterinarian for checkups. Give your rabbit safe toys. Keep your rabbit clean. Your rabbit needs to exercise out of its cage for at least 30 minutes a day. Keep your rat litter box clean. And remember, rabbit's teeth grow constantly. They need to chew to keep their teeth worn down. A rack which should be attached to the side. See right there, they have a rack on the cage to help them with their teeth. And then here it says caring for an indoor pet rabbit. You have like a cage, needs the water, has the litter and never let your rabbit chew on an electrical outlet because that would not be good. Uh, it says also line it with wood shavings and keep changing it often. Many people keep their rabbits as indoor pets. Some have outdoor rabbits. A hutch must be ha have a lot of space for the rabbit to live in. See, there's still the water bottle. Keep the hutch in, in the shade away from the bright light of the sun. If it's a hutch, um, it has a wire bottom to cover the floor with wood shavings or put a nest box in, box in there so they don't hurt themselves. And when they are very cold outside, you need to bring the hutch inside to keep them warm. Other people build outdoor homes for the rabbits called hutches. So this is a hutch and they have a cage. 
Often people enter their pet rabbits into shows or contests. Sometimes they are held at fairs. This rabbit that is judged to be the best this the rabbit that is judged to be the best wins. This is a cinnamon chinchilla rabbit. Rabbits are a lot of fun in their in their natural environment. But best of all, rabbits are fun to play with. They are wonderful pets. They require lots of care, though, and attention and love. And this is a tortoiseshell Dutch, a white dwarf, and a New Zealand red. Look at him hold the carrot above his. <laughs> kind of funny. Difference between a wild rabbit and a hare. So we have a newborn rabbit has no fur. Its eyes are closed. They have shorter ears. Their fur stays the same color all year. Rabbits live in groups, smaller body, smaller feet, shorter legs. Then a hare, a newborn hare, has fur and its eyes are wide open. Hares have longer ears. Sometimes the fur turns white during the winter. Hares live alone. They have a bigger body, they have bigger feet, and they have longer legs. And then right here, never try to tame a wild rabbit. When the rabbit is very scared, it can make a terrible screaming sound. All wild rabbits' ears stand straight up. Some rabbits' ears hang down. They are called lop-eared rabbits. Most rabbits have dark brown eyes. Pure white rabbits have red eyes. The smallest kind tame rabbit is the Netherlands dwarf rabbit. It weighs only two pounds or one kilogram. The biggest kind of rabbit is the Flemish giant. It can weigh about 24 pounds or 11 kilograms. The jackrabbit is a kind of hare. It can run as fast as 45 miles or 72 kilometers in an hour. The Easter Bunny is probably the most famous legendary rabbit. A German legend tells of the goddess of spring turned a bird into a rabbit. The rabbit was um, able to lay brightly colored eggs and the goddess gave him the, ch the children the gifts. They, that's why they were called the Easter Bunny and that's why it brings eggs. One of the most famous rabbit stories is Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. In China, the tradition of each year is ruled by 12 different animals, and one of these is a rabbit. There are millions and millions of rabbits throughout the world. So, because we're making fraction bunnies, I thought it would be good to read about rabbits today. In the comment section, after you read it, Tell me one thing you learned about rabbits today. Now, William, this might be hard for you because we know you know all about rabbits. But try to find one thing. 